Hi everyone, today I'm going to help you get started connecting your Parts Tech account with Mitchell One Manager SE. Parts Tech makes it fast and easy to see parts from all of your vendors in one quick lookup. You'll see wholesale pricing and live inventory at your local stores and beyond. Step one is to create your account if you don't already have one. Once you have a Parts Tech account, the next step is to connect that Parts Tech account to Mitchell. Once you're integrated, step three is to add your suppliers and get yourself familiar with the Parts Tech system. So let's get started. Parts Tech puts all of your vendors in one lookup. A Parts Tech account connects you to over 30,000 parts stores, tire vendors, and OE dealerships across the country. You can use your wholesale account and see wholesale pricing and live local inventory at your stores, and it's backed by the most up-to-date catalog in the industry, so you'll always have the latest product and fitment information directly from the manufacturer. You can get started with Parts Tech for free by going to partstech.com and clicking sign up. We'll ask you some basic information about your shop and who you buy from. Once configured, you can plug your credentials into Mitchell One and start ordering parts, tires, and OE parts with this Parts Tech button at the bottom of the screen. From the home screen, navigate to the Configurations tab, go down to Special Maintenance, and then click on Toggle Catalog Availability. From here, be sure to turn the Parts Tech Catalog on and click Save. Now go back to the Configurations tab and click on the Vendor Setup button. From here, you're going to want to add a new vendor, enter a code, and a name, and then click this Setup Link button. Click on the Setup Parts Tech Catalog button, and click OK. And now you'll be opening up a window that'll give you the opportunity to sign up for a Parts Tech account if you don't already have one, or if you already have a Parts Tech account, you're going to want to enter your username here, and then your API key. If you're not sure what your API key is and you need help, you can click this link. If you're logged in, it'll automatically pull up your account information. So here's where I'll enter my username. And I'll paste my API key into Mitchell One and click the Connect button. Once this is set up, I'm going to click OK. And then click OK again. And that's it. If you're creating an account for the first time, you may need to configure and add your suppliers. But once those integrations are approved, you'll have all those in one place. So I'll show you if you go to the Quotes button now, you'll see this Parts Tech button along with your other integrations down at the bottom of the screen. You can add parts from Parts Tech by clicking here. And that will punch out to Parts Tech so that you can find the parts you need for that work order. Finding parts on Parts Tech is easy. You can see we already brought the vehicle in from Mitchell One, and now I'm going to look up an air filter. So I just type in the first couple letters what I'm looking for and select the part type from the drop down. Now Parts Tech will search all of my vendors at once, and it will show me results in my area for that air filter. I could tab through, I could see what I want, I can click to see more product details and any interchanges, or I could add those products to the cart. I could change quantity here, but I just need one. So I can see the cart appears here. I can go back and say we need a vehicle battery. So I can grab that vehicle battery search. Again, it's searching all my suppliers at once. I can tab through. Let's say we're going to grab this one. It's available in my local store. If it wasn't, I could see what's available up the chain. Uh, if I wanted to filter, I could filter on the left here across all of my suppliers. I'm going to grab one of these. Parts Tech is checking inventory again. And let's say we need a set of tires for this vehicle as well. So I'm going to click over where it says parts here and drop down to tires. Parts Tech is going to show me a list of tire sizes that fit this vehicle from the factory based on VIN. So I'm going to grab this one. And now the same thing, Parts Tech is now running the search against my tire suppliers. And let's say I just want to filter by Bridgestones and see only Bridgestone tires. Here I can filter, and then it filters across all of my suppliers at once. So let's say I want to grab these. The quantity is pre-filled at 4. I could see any available rebate information. 
But let's add these to the cart and bring these products back in to the work order in Mitchell 1. To do that, I hit submit quote, and that quote will be pulled back into the work order in Mitchell. Once back into Mitchell, Parts Tech will ask you if you want to add any core charges from any parts associated with your order to that repair order. Parts Tech will also display any necessary tire information like uniform tire grade or mileage warranty as a note field in Mitchell. And then when it's time to actually check inventory and place those orders, you can go to the parts ordering button, run a price check, and then place that order across all of your suppliers at once through Parts Tech. One of the first things you'll want to do when you register for a Parts Tech account is add all of your suppliers. Adding your suppliers is easy. Open up a web browser and go to PartsTech.com. From here, you can log in using your credentials. That'll be your username and password. Once you're logged in, navigate to the My Shop section and click on the Suppliers tab. Here you'll see a list of all the suppliers you've already added to your account. You can edit your suppliers here if your credentials have changed. We do ask that you do not remove any suppliers that are impending, as that may delay getting that supplier approved on your account. You can also rearrange your supplier by first call. That way you can ensure that your first call always appears first when you're searching for parts. To add a supplier, Click on Add Supplier, and then take note of the Part Suppliers tab here and the Tire Supplier tab. To add a part supplier, we're automatically going to show you a list of suppliers in your area, or you can search for a supplier by name. To drill into this map, you can click on the circles to drill a bit deeper, or you could scroll down and see if your supplier appears on this list. To add a supplier, click on the plus below the supplier, and then enter your credentials and choose your servicing location. Once your credentials are entered, you can click Submit, and that supplier will be processing and available for approval soon. If your account appears as not approved, check your credentials or give us a call and we can help you sort that out. If your account shows pending, that may mean that the supplier needs to approve it on their end, and it could be a couple of days. If account shows pending for a long period of time, please reach out, we'll take a look at it. Once you see this green approved icon, that means you're ready to start searching and ordering with that supplier. To add a tire supplier, jump over to this tire suppliers tab, and then choose the supplier from the list. Please note some tire suppliers are available with our paid plans. Once you've added all your suppliers, and remember you can now add unlimited suppliers to Parts Tech, you can click this Done button or click the X up here once you're finished. Here's where you'll see all of your suppliers. You can rearrange them in the order you wish for them to appear. You can edit or delete them, or you can add more suppliers to your Parts Tech account. We hope that gave you enough to get started with this early build of our Mitchell 1 integration. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to our support team at 866-308-5193, extension 1, or by emailing support at partstech.com. Thank you.